Hello， 你好 ，Welcome back， 欢迎回来。To Wisdom Wednesday with Johnny Tiger on June 19, 2024. Now, in this past few years, uh, ten years or so, really, a lot of people, especially here in the、uh, Western world, like to、uh, talk about the one-child policy and. Uh, Chinese people and their population and all that stuff.、Uh, so today we are going to do an episode、uh, on a very little known,、uh, interesting,、uh, and historical、uh, kind of a, so we can call it superstition、uh, in Chinese culture.、Uh, again, not many people outside of Chinese culture know about it and. Even within Chinese culture,、uh, a lot of people my generation don't even know about this because it is、uh, not practiced much anymore. But in more、uh, remote and rural part of China, people still believe in this custom called catch a doll. Catch a doll, catch a child.、Uh, what is catch a doll all about? First, what is catch a, a doll? Well, it's a、uh, very simple actually.、Uh, let's say a couple that's been married for a while and they are unable to conceive for some reason. And let's say the the this couple they are more inclined to believe in、uh, religious solution. They don't believe in hospitals and tests and exams and all that modern nonsense. Uh, they believe in Buddha and the Jade Emperor and God.、Uh, gods and goddesses will give them the solution. So in this case,、uh, it is said that、uh, a couple、uh, can go to the local、uh, monastery or Buddhist temple, and、uh, specifically one with a, a female、uh, Buddha or a goddess,、uh, maybe one such as a Guanyin Buddha. Uh, although、um, it has been proven that Guanyin Buddha is actually a male, not a female,、uh, but a lot of people have mentioned that since it's a, a Buddha, he can be a she, a she can can be a he, or can turn into an animal. It doesn't really matter. So okay, you know.、Uh, so traditionally, people who are, are willing to try the catch a doll、uh, method, they will go to.、Uh, Temple or monastery that houses a goddess or a female Buddha. Once you go there,、uh, you, there's a set uh, group, uh, set、uh, bunch of prayers, the ceremonies you have to go through. Obviously, you have to make a generous donation to the monastery, the temple,、uh, and then the man, the male, have to stay outside, and the、uh, Woman go in there on her own to finish the rest of the prayer, and while that is going on, the monks、uh, in the monastery or the nuns in the if it's a, a nunnery, they will set out a bunch of little、uh, china doll. <laughs> basically, that they that these are、uh, dolls that are basically the size of babies, and、uh, they are made out of.、Uh, Unhardened clay, so they they basically just make them out of clay and let them dry. They are not even fired or hardened properly. They they are just unhardened clay,、uh, dried and then、uh, they they are in the shape of little dolls about the size of regular babies. And the nuns or the monks will place these dolls randomly all over the temple, all over the monastery, and the woman.、Uh, After completing her prayers, is told now、uh, you take this、uh, rope and they give you a rope that is、uh, made of red silk, and you go and、uh, try to tie it around one of the dolls, and then you can whichever one that you pick, you can take it home, and that will determine the.、Uh, Uh, well-being of your descendant that will determine if you are going to get a boy or a girl, and what kind of、uh, boy, what kind of girl, what kind of child, what kind of future they would have.、Uh, and 
when you take this doll home, you have to uh, set it up in your、uh, ancestor hall, the hall of an- ancestors, where your ancestors、uh, urns and、uh, plaques are kept. You got to keep this doll with the ancestors and、uh, worship it and say prayer over it every day and night and. Uh, make sure you treat it like it's your real kid, and by doing so, this will bless you with、uh, real children.、Uh, there are some additional details, but we won't go too deeply into it because, it, like I said, it's a very archaic, very、uh, old world. But、uh, there are、um, there are some rules that, for example. Sometimes the monks or the nuns they'll place one of the dolls、uh, in the directly in the lap of the goddess or Buddha statue.、Uh, it is a really bad idea to try to bring that one home because that is almost a god child. That is almost a, a royalty kind of child. So if you bring one like that home, most likely that your If you even conceive, you are not going to be able to keep the child because that child is too good for you,、uh, and you don't want to、uh, pick a child that is hiding behind something or under something because、uh, that means your descendants, your children, will always be sneaking around, hiding, might become criminals. So、uh, there's a lot of little、uh, details to be observed. Uh, when you are trying to catch a doll,、uh, so you can have a child. Nowadays, this practice is done less and less as people becoming more scientific and less religious. But as I mentioned, in some remote part of China, where in、uh, small villages, where people still tend to believe the monks and the nuns over the doctors and nurses, they still practice、uh, this. A、tradition of catch a doll when they are trying to conceive. Traditionally speaking, a lot of these people that、uh, were born after their parents went to the catch a doll ceremony、uh, are called doll children or doll child. Now, where did this custom? Originate from?、Uh, it's been in Chinese history for a long time.、Um, it started out as、uh, something slightly different. But where did it come from? Well, as far as historians can tell, this custom of catch a doll and catch a child started out with Buddhism.、Uh, the origin story is that. Lord Buddha,、uh, the not the Guan Yin Buddha, not the Money Buddha. I'm talking about the 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 guy who looks serious and wearing robe and turban and and or sometimes he's shown with a, like a bald lumpy head and he he looks really serious, kind of pissed off all the time. That's that guy, <laughs> the, the 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 Lord Buddha himself. Okay, so we go back to、uh, a little bit of real history here. Before Lord Buddha became Buddha,、uh, it was said that he was a Hindu prince、uh, in the ancient days. And because he one day he witnessed how much people、uh, were suffering, and he felt ashamed that he was enjoying all the luxury that he had, and while people were starving to death out, outside the palace, he decided to drop everything he had and.、Uh, Becoming a monk and、uh, eventually became the Buddha.、Um, in the original Buddha's tale, it was said that before he became a Buddha, he was well. He was a prince, so he had a lot of women. He had a lot of money, a lot of food. He even had a wife that he was a beautiful wife that he was married to, and then、uh, he became. A, a monk and ran away from the palace and left all that behind. And then, the, something really interesting: a little bit of text was discovered during the Song Dynasty、uh, in 
ancient Chinese in ancient China, because people in the Song Dynasty were very curious. Okay, so he left behind all this wealth and women and his beautiful wife、uh, after he became the Buddha. What happened to all this stuff that he left? So people were digging, really digging into、uh, Lord Buddha's background, trying to figure out. Okay, what happened to his wife? What happened to、uh, his money and all that stuff? And during all this、uh, studying and、uh, digging around, people found this little bit of text that said six years after Lord Buddha became the Buddha, his well wife or ex-wife,、uh, the the wife that he left behind, had a child. Ooh, I mean that is one juicy piece of gossip right there. Okay, so the guy's be been a Buddha for six years. How's his wife able to have a child? Either she has to have slept with someone else, or maybe Buddha wasn't such a Buddha after all. Maybe he was Buddha during the day, and then、uh, during the night he went and Buddha his wife or something. I don't know, you know. Use your imagination. Well, this created such a big scandal that、uh, the Lord monks,、uh, the the head of the monasteries at the time, wrote a new、uh, book of the Buddha's Bible,、uh, and in this book they explained that this child was actually conceived before he became a Buddha, but because the Evil forces, the demons and the spirits knew that this child was going to be the child of a guy who going who was going to become Buddha. They wanted to murder this child in the before it was even born. So they used all their magic and evil power to try to make this uh, tr- uh, make this child a stillborn.、Uh, but the Buddha's power was so great the the、uh, evil. Couldn't prevail against good. That、uh, in the end, the child was able to be born and grew up to be a great person, even though it took the woman six years to push the child out because there's all this evil power inside and fighting the good power and all that stuff. So that's basically the the、um, the, the the explanation the Buddhist came up with. Explaining how is it that six years after the guy became the Buddha, his ex-wife suddenly gave birth to their son. Now, obviously, this is like thousands of years ago, so and it's not really productive for us to、uh, try to figure out who's right, who's、uh, lying, and what's going on. But this explanation really gave hope to、uh, people. In the Song Dynasty, there were a lot of people back then,、uh, mostly because of malnutrition, lack of food, lack of stability, were unable to conceive. And in Chinese history, the unable to conceive was a really serious matter. I mentioned this multiple times. Like to procreate is like number one duty to Chinese people.、Uh, the Unable, the inability to conceive, a lot of time was the ground was valid ground for divorce. Like your whole point of getting married is to bring child, bring children into this world. If you if you're unable to conceive, then you might as well get rid of this wife because obviously she's not doing her duty. Yeah, I know they never thought it was a guy's fault. They always said it's a the women's fault.、Um, so unable to conceive. A lot of people were really desperate, and suddenly they heard from the Buddhist monk that, oh, so that it the the child was in there. It took her six years to give birth to the child because of, of evil forces. So maybe maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe uh maybe my son or my daughter is going to be a great person. Uh, and and the evil forces in my wife's body are trying to hold them back. Maybe that's why we can't have children.、Uh, so a lot of people、uh, became Buddhist and 
make a lot of donations to the temples,、uh, hoping that Buddha would help them push the child out. And so, throughout Song Dynasty, there's a custom that slowly came into being. That during the、uh, seventh day of the seventh month every year, the women that were hoping to conceive but for some reason was unable to, they would go to the local temples, Buddhist temples, and make a generous donation and bring home a, a little doll-like statue made after the likeness of the Buddha's own son. And they believe they were told uh, that uh, if you worship Buddha's son, because he had such a hard time being born, if you treat him good and pay all the respect and say all the right prayers, then this child, the, the Buddha's son, will help your child being born as well. So this was where the、uh, idea of catch a doll. To catch a child originate from was the Song Dynasty women hoping to conceive and uh, uh, bring home the doll-like statue of the Buddha's own child. Now most of this sounds like old world superstition to most of us educated people nowadays, of course, but uh, uh, there's a Little story that's、uh, written about three hundred years ago、uh, by a scholar that、uh, kind of、uh, talked about this whole、uh, doll and child dolls and children、uh, business. And、uh, I'm going to tell you the story.、Uh, whether you want to believe that there's some truth in it、uh, or just treat it like a good story, it's up to you. Um, this was written as if this was a true account of the scholar who wrote it. So the scholar who wrote this story, his name is Yuan Mu, and he was born in the Qing Dynasty,、uh, like I said, about three hundred years ago. So Yuan Mu had a great friend, another scholar by the by the name of Kai. Now Yuan Mu and Kai were having tea one day. Uh, sitting down in their study, going over poetry,、uh, sharing articles, and talking about Confucius and all that cool philosophies and stuff, drinking tea. And Yuan Mu looked over at his friend Kai, and saw Kai holding the teacup. And suddenly, Yuan Mu realized that Kai's left hand only has four fingers. He's missing his pinky finger. And Yuan Mu said, "Hey." Man, like I, I'm sure he didn't say, "Hey, man, or not a hippie," or <laughs> but I'm just trying to tell this as a, a way that's easy to understand. So Yuan Mu said, "Hey, man, what's up? I we've been friends for so many years. I I never realized that you're missing your pinky finger and your left hand. What happened?" And his friend Kai looked at him, took a sip of tea. Held the tea in his mouth,、uh, swirled the tea around in his mouth, and swallowed it slowly, <clears throat> clearing his throat, and put down the teacup. And he said, "Well, I don't really want to tell you. I, I think I think if I tell you, my why I don't have a pinky finger on my left hand. I think if I tell you, you you will think I'm crazy." And Yuan Mu said. No man, I I I know you are an honest person. I I've known you for years. You've never lied about anything. So tell me, I, I'll I, I want to hear your what happened. So Kai said, "Well, you don't know this about me, but I am a dull child. Uh, my my parents they were unable to conceive for the longest time, so they went to the Buddhist temple and uh pay." A big donation, and they brought home a little clay doll, and have that doll sitting in our、uh, ancestors' hall, and they worshipped it every day, and、uh, they 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 would、uh, light candles and incense and、um, 
put fruits and flowers in front of the little doll day and night, praying for them to conceive. Well,、uh, one day in the middle of the night, my dad heard a strange noise outside,、uh, in the backyard. So he went out to see maybe some wild animal got into our yard, and he saw a strange shadow. Hanging out by our tree, and he said the shadow was、uh, looked like a really skinny and tall man just standing by the tree. So my my dad was kind of scared, and and then he asked the person, "Hey, who are you? Why why are you in my yard?" And the person did not respond. So so my dad asked again, "Who are you? If you don't." Answer me! I, I'm going to I'm 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 going to go get my sword. The person still didn't answer, so my dad went back, ran back into the house and grabbed his sword off the wall and came back out into the yard. And he saw that tall, skinny shape still standing by the tree. So he lunged towards the tree and swung his sword at the shadow. And this was when the shadow. Finally reacted, and the shadow started running away. But my father's sword was quick and true. And afterward, they found a pinky finger on the ground, a bloody pinky finger from this shadow. And Yuan Mu said, "Whoa, that is quite a story." So then, what happened? Did, was it was it a burglar? Was was it like did they ever find out?、Uh, and Kai said. Like I said, you are going to think that this is crazy, but、uh, next day, when they were、uh, putting flower, fresh flower and fruit in front of the doll, they saw that there was a damaged area on the doll's left hand, almost like someone cut off its pinky finger.、Uh, but you know, the, 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 these dolls they are not always very detailed, so it really didn't have fingers to begin with. But if it did, That where the pinky finger would be,、uh, would is where that little damage is. So almost like someone cut the doll's hand. And my parents, they were thinking, is this a coincidence? Like we we saw a weird shadow in our backyard, and 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 we 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 hurt him with a sword and cut off his finger, and now our doll is damaged. Like what? Was that the doll? Was that the, some weird、uh, animated spirit from the doll? And then, a year later, my parents conceived and had me. And when I was born, they were shocked to find out that I was missing the pinky finger on my left hand. So, it appears that whatever happened to the doll happened. To the child that doll the doll brings into the world, and Yuan Mu, after hearing this incredible, incredible story, he said, "Wow, wow! It's an incredible story that you just told me. Uh, but uh, I, 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 it also makes me feel so glad." And Kai said, "What? Why?" Why, why, why do you say that you 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 feel so glad? Well, Yuan Mu said, well, because you see, I am a doll child too. My my、uh, parents they also had a hard time conceiving, and uh, uh, they they were unable to conceive, and they did the same thing your parent did. They went to the Buddha's temple and brought home a doll. But uh, uh, lucky for me that even to this day, the doll is kept. A hundred percent pristine in our hall of ancestors. They still、uh, present the doll with、uh, flower and incense every day and keep it in tip-top condition. This is why I am so healthy and 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 such a, have such a successful life because my parents to take really good care of my doll. And the story then fast forward about 
four years. Okay? So Yuan Mu, ah,、uh, the author of the story, writes. And、four years later, I have not seen Kai for uh, quite a uh, quite a bit,、uh, and I decide to go visit my old friend Kai, only to find out that he has just recently passed away. And I, when I inquired what did my old friend die of, they said that it's some really strange, rotting disease. They said when he died, there were three big holes rotted into his back. That in his back, the、uh, the skin and flesh had rotted away, and you could even see all the way into his body and see his internal organs. So he died from some really strange,、uh, rotting disease. Uh. Yuan Mu, being a really good friend, decided to pay for the funeral and have Kai's body shipped back.、Uh, bring he he would bring Kai's body back to his family because Kai actually、uh, came from a different province. Ah,、uh, so Yuan Mu had all that expenses paid, and he、uh, traveled with the coffin with、uh, Kai's body in it. Uh, bring him back home.、Uh, when he got back to Kai's family and informed them that their son was dead, everyone was, of course, devastated.、Uh, they also thanked him、uh, profusely for bringing the body of their son home.、Uh, before、uh, Yuan Mu bid farewell to the family of his deceased friend. He said to Kai's parents, "He said, 'Hey, do you mind if I go to your、uh, ancestor's room and see that doll that's supposed to represent my best friend? I, I want to.、Uh, I never. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to my best friend, so at least I can say goodbye to the doll that brought him into this world.'" And of course, you know, the family wouldn't refuse uh, uh, him doing that. So、uh, they all walked over to the、uh, the room where the ancestor plaques and the, the doll were kept. And they opened the door, and Yuan Mu started to take a step into the room, and he saw the doll sitting on top of the pedestal. Uh, with the ancestor's plaque, and in his original text, Yuan Mu said, "When I saw the doll, my blood went cold in my body, because I saw that、uh, there has been a lot of rain, and there is a leak in the ceiling of the room. There has been water that dropping down from the ceiling." And some of those water have rotted away the back of the doll, and in that instant, I knew that's what killed my best friend. Yeah, like I said,、uh, whether we believe it or not, we can treat this as a good friend、um, who wrote something down to remember his.、Uh, Deceased friend, bye.、Uh, or we can just choose to enjoy it as another nice old tale from an age that is no longer here. Maybe if you are from the Chinese culture, you might want to ask your parent, "Hey, am I a doll child? Is there a clay doll in this house that's supposed to represent me?" Please take good care of it. Thank you for checking out today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow for Toy Thursday. For now, 谢谢 and 再见。